Hello guys, today we are going to discuss residential power supply. Here we got a transformer which is single phase and three wire and we got input voltage to the transformer which is 2400 volt and we got output uh 120 and 240 volt line to line voltage actually uh is a 240 and line to peso voltage is actually 120 now what we are going to find here we are going to find the following things we are going to find the value of r to ensure a balanced load so we have the following load we got air conditioner which is a 20000 volt we got tv which is 200 volt and 10 bulbs of 60 volt so so to find the value of resistance so for resistance this formula is used so this value is given which is a 2400 volt so this value which we are going to find so for this value we are going to do some uh, calculation so to find the total power so which is a uh, uh, 10 bulb of 60 watt plus 200 watt which is a TV plus 2000 watt which is air condition now so the total voltage here is a 2800 watt so the power input is equal to the power output which is equal to which is equal to this one The voltage uh, inside the primary turns and secondary turns. Primary winding and secondary winding. So, here here the output voltage is actually equal to 2800 volt and the input voltage is this one from here we can easily uh, find uh, the current inside the primary winding so So uh, here the voltage is uh, 2400 volt uh, watt. Now <coughs> IP is actually equal to Now, now the value of IP is uh, one point one seven, which we calculated, and the phase uh, voltage is a uh, twenty four hundred volt. So the value of r is a uh, 2051 
point twenty eight ohm. So the value of R for the case one is uh, this one. Now in the case B what we are going to find we are going to find current I and current I1 and current I2 so the I1 current is actually flowing to the bulbs and I2 current is flowing towards the air condition now so here if we are going to find the current what we are given here in this circuit oh, we got power which is uh, for the bulbs which is 600 volt so when we got power and we got a voltage uh, which is uh, a 120 volt so for current i1 we got power of 600 volt uh, sorry what and power is actually equal to v i1 now we here in this case is uh, 120 volt and i1 which we are going to find so i1 here in this case is a uh, 600 divided by 120 now I1 is equal actually equal to pi ampere. Now to find I2, so we will use the same formula. So the total load here is a 2000 watt, and so we got a voltage of. 240 volt from line to line now <coughs> power is uh, uh, 2000 watt and voltage of 240 volt and i2 now I2 is equal to 2000 watt divided by 240 so I2 here in this case is actually equal to 8.33 ampere now the value of second case the values of second case is uh, is uh, i1 is if if pipe ampere i2 is uh, 8.33 ampere now for the third case what we are going to find we are going to find vl voltage which is a line voltage so the line voltage is actually under root 3 time of the pairs voltage so under root 3 is equal to 1.73 and the pairs voltage is a so line voltage actually equal to 4052 volt so we clearly found the line voltage which is 41.52 volt now for the D case what we are going to find the total power deliver total power deliver So the total power delivered is actually three times 
of the base power so so the total power which is a uh, 10 time of uh, 60 volt 200 and 2000 uh, which is equal to 2800 volt which we find so the total power is actually equal to 8.4 kilowatt so the total power is a kilowatt now in the e case what we are going to find we are going to find the turn ratio primary winding and secondary winding so we have no values given for the primary turns and secondary turns so we have we got uh, primary winding voltage and secondary winding voltage so from this we are going to find a turn ratio so which is uh, and 240 volt now the turn ratio is uh, found so we found all the five cases uh, so that's the end of the lecture thank you for watching and we will upload uh, uh, the detailed value of the transformer very soon